All right, everybody take a seat and start to shut up. My name is Professor Jerk, and you are in Trainables. Tier 7 Ranked 101. That's right. Today we're going to talk about Ranked Baby, how I like to play it when I play it, the basic strategies I use against the red team and the blue team, a little positioning, and hopefully a little common sense to go along with that. For this season of Ranked, I choose to use the Umbra for all of it except closing out rank two when i was getting frustrated and jumped in the opichikov in hindsight i maybe could have just gotten away with using the ochikov the whole time but i wanted to go with something a little more unexpected so yes the edinburgh not quite a stealth radar build and not quite a full agility but here is my commander and setup so you can see how i am using it and let me put a little spoiler out there. This is going to be a solo warrior match where I eventually have to sink four ships on my own to close this match out. And it does, in fact, come down to the wire. So first things first, what is my opening move? Well, my opening move is to always go where my team isn't. That sounds familiar, right? And the basic thinking here is that in this arms race mode, you never know where the power-ups are going to be. And if your team all takes the groovy train to one cap and the red to the other, and the red should get all the power-ups, well, you are boned. One of the matches I had today, our blue team managed to get five heals, and the red team had zero. There was literally nothing they could do. Now, in this match, our team has actually split up, so that's a good sign and it also looks like the entire red team has gone to one cap excluding this solitary destroyer so the basic plan is this let's sink the destroyer cap a and then head back to b hopefully our teammates over there can remove the destroyer over there and another radar cruiser oh well we don't have another radar cruiser well Let's talk about ship selection. Now, of course, the easiest way to rank out if you're good in them are destroyers. I myself don't want to deal with the wait times, so I go out in the next most influential class, battleship. No, I'm just kidding. Cruisers, specifically radar cruisers. In this game mode, you can be nearly 100% certain of one thing only that a destroyer is going to get on a cap and the best thing for getting rid of destroyers is bah, I'm just kidding it's cruisers specifically radar cruisers and for the large majority of the games I had to rank out today they were overloaded with battleships doing battleship things and I can say or I can't say that I'm surprised they are the most popular class but I've said it numerous times least influential and that goes for standard battles and ranked so if we have a look at the scoreboard we can see both our destroyers are long gone we've lost a battleship the red team has lost this destroyer that was down here and a battleship but look what side all the power-ups are spawning on this side now sadly there are no heals yet and while I could cruise around picking these up, while they are helpful, they do pale in comparison to heals. So I want to get more centrally located for the next batch to pop up in case they are heals. And they are getting ready to pop up pretty soon. Ah, precious heals. We've got one to the south and one to the north. I'm going to ping the one to the south for our battleship player to get it and I will get this one to the north. And this is going to change how this game would have turned out had we not had these two heals. These are the only two heals that will pop up this match. And seriously, if we didn't have these two, we would lose, but you will see that shortly. So because this is so important, I am going to risk getting detected to pick this up and it is a risk 
At this range, the Kansas shells could plunge through my deck. Uh, the Georgia up there can, of course, overmatch the Embra's bow. So I will just let the Georgia duck behind the island and move in to pick it up. And once that Kansas is behind their island, turn out to reposition. And hey, if I'm detected, I might as well be firing. They don't have any heals, so this damage sticks. I just need them to get behind that island. Okay, I'm relatively safe at this point. I mean, what's the Kutuzov going to do? Burn me to death? <laughs> Fool. Now, <laughs> watch what the Kutuzov does get to do here. They just broke my torpedo tubes on that side. And that's going to become a problem for me later. Now, I'm not sure any of those ships that purely depend on fire damage are... That good of a choice for ranked, well, outside of the Cleveland. But for whatever reason, I did see a fair number of Suzuyas out there today, which I think is a particularly bad choice, if you ask me. So while this radar burns, let's see how many battleships shoot at the Kagero versus shooting at, I don't know, say, a bow in Georgia around the corner. There goes a salvo at the Georgia. Anyone? Anyone? Well, as the saying goes, I'd wish you good luck, but you wouldn't know what to do with it. I want to torp this Georgia, but I'm going to see that they're wise to my plan. And I'm getting targeted by the Kagero as well. And you guys will be able to tell when the Kagero drops torps as the number targeting me will drop. So it is best to turn on the Hydro and reevaluate our plan. And uh, what is this Bismarck right next to me doing? Did they not notice that there is a destroyer down here? Are they needing me to activate will to rebuild? Could they not cut north with our other battleship? Well, it doesn't matter because here come the torps. Uh, maybe this is a get down Mr. President moment, but I'm going to be able to dodge them anyway. Yeah, there they are. Torpedoes to port. And, well, that Bismarck's not long for this world. The only question is, can I dodge these? I can! Sweet. Alright. Let's change our plan. Let's turn out and try and get some distance between myself and all of these ships all grouped up together. Alrighty, let's turn around and let's send uh, some of these tube by tube sea sausages to the Georgia while they're preoccupied with my teammate to the north. Can we sneak them through here? Well, well, you know, use them or lose them. And speaking of, let's go ahead and get our gun cycling as well because free damage. We have all the heals, so anything I can get on the Georgia will not be healed back. Well, I mean, outside of their own heals, but it doesn't look like they have many left. I am still spotted. Well, I guess the Georgia still has the line of sight. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna, wait. Their destroyer is back on our cap, huh? All right, well, this is going to determine how I have to play things. Now, oh, my secondaries fire up and there they are. Let's turn. You'll notice my hydro is down. And it's a good thing that I did turn to engage because these torps right in front of me, they probably would have got me right there. Now, it might be argued that I shouldn't be putting this fire out, but I do put that fire out and my reason for doing as such is simple. I want to drop spot. I don't want either of those battleships to be able to see me. I don't want the Kutuzov to be able to see me. 
Now, it's true, if I were to get on fire now, well, that's going to stick for a while, but we know that the Kagero doesn't have torps for at least probably 45 seconds. So let's take advantage of that fact. Drop spot and uh, go and hunt this destroyer down. Now, I will say this is one of the downsides of the Embra. Obviously, the AP, when you can catch a broadside destroyer, absolutely shreds them. But many of the destroyers can angle and bounce some of these shells. Now, when that Kagero opens up a little bit, that means they're dropping torps, right? So we're going to do a little fake move here, take them out, and then turn hard to the right. And there are their torps. And you may have missed it. All right, well... I'm going to take that one, but that's okay, and I'm going to infuriate some people right now by using my heal immediately. And I will tell you why I use that heal immediately. And that is simple. We only have two heals, and I want to get my ship back to full health as fast as possible. And I want to have a heal available as soon as possible. So this is, you know, I still have two left, and this is all just my plan because we know what we have to do right now. We have to sink every single red ship. We don't have the points otherwise. So we got to get a little bit daring right now. And um, this is going to be a little bit daring. So I'm trying to reposition to get a little bit closer to this island before I use my radar. I want to use my radar to see where their Georgia is going. Obviously, that Georgia can overmatch me. We already know that. And I've only got torpedoes on the right side of my ship. So I need to position myself to be able to use them. Because torpedoing the Georgia is the only hope that I have. So we get them spotted. Kind of uh, thinking, okay, well, you know what? They might get two salvos. You know, this may be a lost cause. Okay. Did not expect the Kutuzov to be right there. So I'm going to just go ahead and be shooting the Kutuzov with the intentions. Ooh, we get lucky right there with the intentions that I'm going to torp the Georgia and try and get as much damage on the Kutuzov as I can. Kutuzov's opening up a little bit and we just dodge some Kansas shells right there. Now, I do have a question. Why hasn't the Georgia shot me again? I don't know. We can't even watch, you know, plus cool guys don't watch their ships get blown up, but let's go for the Kutuzov now. Oh, we take one of their torps, we get a double strike, and we're using our heal. Now, you're right in that I probably shouldn't have used that damage control earlier until I was done with that sequence, but, you know, sometimes in the heat of the moment... You just get so excited that uh, you make a bad choice. So, this is why I'm saying that those two heals are so important, right? We know that one heal essentially negates a fire. And I've got two heals, and you can see it's struggling to counteract the flood. And in fact, I am flooding out faster than I can heal. So this is just going to come down to, can I get my damage control off in time? And look how low we are getting. We are under a thousand. And we get our damage control off. And we bounce the Kansas's shots off of our bow. Now we need five seconds to get our last heal off. Oh boy. Hit the heal. There comes a salvo once again, down to about a thousand. But now we are healing very very quickly and at this point I am imagining that anyone who's left on the red team watching this is saying to themselves by god that beautiful bastard's done it <laughs> he deserves it so we just keep bouncing the Kansas's shells and it's time to torp alright there they go Whoops, wait, I forgot them. Okay, there they go. And there we have it. Destroyed. All right, let's see the scoreboard. 
3,490 XP for a very good game and a solo warrior and a double strike high caliber, yada yada yada. And that's a look at my rank playstyle. Your homework is a three page paper on how ranked has been going for you, and those are due tomorrow. As always, this class is pass fail, hit like to pass, hit dislike to fail, questions, comments, come see me in my office hours down below. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll get back out there for another one soon, and we'll talk then.